Hello, my name is John Martin. I'm talking to you from Hillshire Communications uh, from our North American sales office here near Chicago, Illinois. This is the first in a series of videos that we've prepared to introduce you to our newest embedded product, the Netix 90 network controller. The Netix 90 is a complete system on a chip that includes both a host processor and a communications processor in one integrated circuit. We hope that you will find these in videos instructive. Uh, we hope that they give you an in-depth knowledge of the part that will prepare you for a very rapid implementation of the Netix 90 in your next product or application. We will begin our examination of the Netix 90 with a brief introduction into the history of the Netix family. Uh, by that we mean the parts and the architecture and the ecosystem of hardware, software, and services that will support your Netix development. Let's talk about the agenda of what we'll cover in this video. First, we'll look into a brief history and family roadmap of the NetX family of devices. We'll do this to try to give context to the development of the NetX 90 and, and the history that it comes from. We'll also look at the ecosystem of services and hardware and software that's available to support your NetX 90 development. We will also take a look at the use cases, uh, the different ways in which the Netix 90 is used by our customers, and uh, it will show the flexibility of the part. We will take a look, quick look at the evaluation board and the accessories that make up the hardware platform that allows you to develop software while you're in the process of developing your own hardware. And finally, we will look at the support and services that are made available by Hillshire to support your development. First of all, what do we mean by NetX? NetX refers to an integrated semiconductor platform developed by Hillshire Communications about 15 years ago. It was designed to provide a common hardware platform that would support any industrial protocol within the automation context. It achieves this goal by using many ARM processors operating concurrently to support the flexibility and complexity required by any arbitrary deterministic network. Like Apple Computer, Hilshire's hardware and software are tightly coupled and work seamlessly together. Of course, the value to the customer is in the fact that once the protocol has been implemented on the hardware, 70 to 80 percent of the effort to implement a new protocol has already been done. Hillshire offers a full range of master and slave implementations, so a NetX design is future-proofed against your product's future protocol requirements. All of Hilshire's products are based on the NetX architecture and the NetX semiconductors. These products include end users product like PC cards, gateways, test instruments, and IIoT edge gateways, as well as products for the OEM, uh, which include industrial network semiconductors and modules. All of this is based on the NetX platform. Let's talk a little bit about the history of the NetX uh, architecture. The first product that was developed with the NetX architecture was the NetX 500 and later followed by the NetX 100. The 100 and the 500 are master class devices. Uh, the difference between the two is that the NetX 500 has some external uh, graphics capabilities that the NetX 100 does not have. These parts were followed uh, very quickly by a slave class device called the NetX 50. The NetX 50 ha is based on the same architecture, but has reduced resources to handle only slave applications. More recently, within the last five years, we're followed by a new cla another class of device uh, called the NetX 51 and the NetX 52, uh, and also the NetX 10. The NetX 51 and the NetX 52 were very similar to the NetX 50. Uh, but they were on newer technology and had better performance and better power dissipation. The NetX 51 and the NetX 52 were based on the same die, but had different pinouts to allow for some economic benefits in certain applications. All of these devices that you see here were uh, companion chip 
devices. That is, they were made to work with an external host processor. This year, we've introduced a new product called the NetX90, and which is the subject of this video series. The NetX90 is, a, is like the NetX52 in that the architecture of the network controller is just the same as these. However, it also includes a host processor built right into the chip. This is a dedicated Cortex-M4 that is available for the user's application. Uh, and it has a whole range of peripherals, which we'll talk about in a minute, uh, that allow the application side to work just like an external host processor would. This is going to be followed very quickly by the NetX 4000 and the NetX 4100 later on this year. These devices are master class devices and will be in the same architecture. They will have their own host processor as the NetX 90, but with much increased uh, capabilities. Uh, for instance, the processors are Cortex A7s on these devices. Let's take a brief look at the architecture of the NetX90. As we mentioned, the NetX90 is based on two cores, both ARM Cortex M4 cores. This Cortex handles the communication side of the device. This, this core and the variety of peripherals around it make up the devices that do the communication. On the other side, this Cortex-M4 is made available to the user and is totally dedicated to their task. Along with the Cortex-M4 Cortex uh, processing unit itself, there's a variety of peripherals that are made available. Also, there's a number of, of shared peripherals that can be used on either side of, of the part. Communication between the application side and the communication side is across an integrated dual port memory. This is a virtual dual port memory uh, that allows the application side to control uh, the communication side of the part. There will be a lot more discussion on the dual port memory in the future. 